Pamela was not a happy lady. She was meant to wed Stephen at noon sharp, but his reluctance to organise any of it was winding her up. There's still so much to do and you're not helping! Even if he could understand her, Stephen looked blankly into the distance. His genitals needed a good old scratch, and that would take priority. I'll sort out the decorations, the flowers and the guests. You can make the cake! Pushing a bowl, flour and eggs towards Stephen was optimistic at best. And don't mess it up, Stephen! She barked before stomping off to address the rest of the wedding. Your orangutans were meant to decorate this place and look at it! Banana skins everywhere! Mr. Lion, I thought you could arrange flowers. This is rubbish. Do it again. Noonsharp arrived, and the scene was set for the jungle wedding of the year. But Pamela was nowhere to be seen. A few trees away, she was crying into the haunches of an indifferent giraffe. I just can't go through with it, Susie. He's not right for me, she sobbed. Susie ate some leaves. Pamela fled the jungle, leaving the groom and guests at the altar. Stephen didn't care so much. He'd just eaten a banana and was about to touch himself. And so it came to pass. Pamela is now courting a flamingo in the Serengeti. She loves his carefree attitude and reckless abandon. He likes prawns and standing on one leg. And Stephen? Well, oblivious to how close he came to being legally bound in wedlock, he was recently captured by poachers and now makes a living in Portugal as a model. (laughs)